Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome to a little bit of an unboxing slash review video. So, um, with taking the truck to the track, we've had some difficulties. Um, obviously, changing transmissions in these things is something that has to be done at the track on occasion. Um, we've had it ourselves, and there is a little bit of an issue with that. So, while jacking the truck up on a rough surface, um, I had this happen in Crossville. When we were there and we had to pull the transmission to swap our torque converter, what'll happen is you'll jack up one side of the vehicle, put your jack stands under it, and then we'll go to the rear of the truck and start jacking that up. What happens is with your traditional jack, let me get one. So your traditional jack like this has these little steel wheels and like something like a little rock like that will make it hard for this thing to move sometimes. So while jacking up the rear and this thing coming up, you actually end up pulling the vehicle backwards and what we had happen in crossville was it was I noticed that the front jack stands were actually starting to tilt backwards um, because the jack couldn't move freely so i started looking at off-road jacks and the big name in off-road jacks and like the only name is pro eagle um, now those jacks like for a three-ton jack i think they run like 450 500 really didn't want to spend that on a jack. So I found an alternative. Um, it might just be kind of a Chinese knockoff, but we're going to see if it'll get the job done. Um, it is, like I said, pretty much like a knockoff, um, but it is under the cat brand for whatever reason. So I don't know what the whole cat thing, I think they're just slapping their logo on it and selling them, but we're gonna open this thing up and see how it is. Um, it's definitely nice too for here in the driveway. like. You can see I have a very rough driveway, so something like a Pro Eagle Jack should help. So we'll get this thing opened up and check it out. I don't know if there's assembly required or what, but we'll get to it. So here is our Cat 3-ton off-road jack. No assembly required. Um, the only assembly really is the handle, but the handle is like a quick release setup. So you just push this button, and you can take that off. And then there is, get that back in there. This knob here, so we can unscrew that and pull our handle out. So that way we could store this thing, make it easier like in the trailer of where to put it down there and screw this back in and we are good to go so it works like a tr traditional jack um, it looks like it's a pretty fast rising jack I'm not even going to show you my old craftsman jack that I've had forever um, it's just amazingly slow but as you can see there is a big size difference this cat jack is pretty heavy um, but it does make things easy because we can just push it right up in the garage and go and drive around just moves really nice with those big wheels um like our craftsman jack you know we try and do the same thing it's hitting that little bit of concrete whereas this right up and over so that i like um another thing which like i said it's kind of like a pro eagle knockoff um they supply this spacer as well so this is all steel what you do with this is it actually goes on to your jacking point and it'll lock in. So let's see if I can hold the camera. So we actually can lock that in there so it's not gonna go anywhere. But that also gives us a couple more adjustments. Pull this pin out and we have three different other heights we can go. So we can start as high as that. So we can start our jack at that height. If we wanted to, this will come in handy like when we pull the transmission out from under the truck. I can throw our spacer in there and jack it up way high so I can just slide it out on the transmission jack, no issue. So definitely liking that. And it also has this little rubber bumper that you can put in and try and keep stuff from getting scratched up. So, so just this little bit I've seen of it, I like it. Um, it definitely, with the wheels how it is, rolls very well. That being said, there is a little downfall to that. 
there is no steering wheels in the back like a normal jack would have so one little contention there not a big deal because it rolls so nice i mean just right in the garage no little stuff's going to stop it and i think this will be a much safer option than your traditional jack on and see that it, it wants to run away it moves so easily so um we'll jack up the truck and see how it does um if everything kind of keeps going how it is i'm gonna have to say i'd recommend this thing Yeah, so it jacks nice, um, nice and easy. It even has this little bumper, so that way if you're really close to your vehicle, you don't ding nothing up. Obviously, we're jacking up a truck with no engine, but you guys get the point, so it, it, it's pretty nice, I think. So this is a good uh -oh, alternative to the Pro Eagle off-road jack. I'll look up the prices here in a second. Another thing I know the Pro Eagle jacks have is like a belly pan, so this one does too. So what that is, is if you're, say, in the sand or something, you can jack your vehicle up, and once your, your wheels get kind of buried in the sand, this big flat surface is going to take over, so that way you can actually use this in a lot more off-road applications. So, yeah, um, seems like a quality piece. I know, China, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty quality so far. We'll see how it is over the course of the year definitely going to be in, in the race trailer might have to make some sort of a bracket i know pro eagle makes brackets for theirs um to hold in so i looked on pro eagle's website i couldn't find anything that said they were made in america i think they have something on there that says maybe assembled in america so maybe whoever makes a pro eagle jacks is now making these cat jacks all right, so looking, um, doing a little more research. Like I said, I did not see anything on Pro Eagle's website that says they are made in America or anything like that. Um, I might be wrong, but just looking through their about section and all that, you know, companies typically want to boast about that, but I didn't see anything like that. And I was wrong on their pricing. So the three ton jack that is comparable to this cat jack is actually $600. I paid. 342 for this from a website called Omni Outdoor Living. I think there's a coupon code or something like that. Um, it currently says they're out of stock on their website, but you can find them on like Northern Tool for like 389. Um, Pro Eagle also has a two ton variant, which is a little over $500, and then a one ton variant that's like four something. So this Cat Jack, which like I said, seems like it is just like a Pro Eagle. I wish I had a Pro Eagle to compare it to, but I don't. Um, it's a more affordable option than the Pro Eagle and more than likely they're probably built in the same place If I had to guess um, it just seems like you look at all the stuff on Pro Eagle's website And this thing has all the options and it ticks all the boxes So just a quick little review video if you guys want an off-road jack and a little more affordable option um, It is a bit heavier um, Obviously you're not going to be able to get this under as low of a spot as a traditional jack because of the big wheels um, for our four wheel drive diesel pickup. It is not an issue. So that's our review. I like it. I will be using it this year at the races and here in the garage. Um, just the way this thing's so easy to move around. I think I'm going to like it as long as it continue, you know, as long as it performs the way it should. So that's my review. Comment down below what you think. Um, check it out. Uh, like I said, it's a more affordable option, and I think they're pretty pretty similar. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe down below. Catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrench on your truck.